Hey there, everyone. Your friendly neighborhood round the wheel here, and we are on the second level of Dr. Wily's castle. Another pretty easy one, and this is going to be, weirdly, the first part of a boss rush. We're not going to encounter all the bosses in this level. Usually you do in a Mega Man game. There's one level in Dr. Wily's castle where you fight all eight robot masters again, but we're only going to encounter two robot masters here in this particular level. We'll see the other four at a different time, but here we're only going to face two of them, and we're not going to teleport to them. We're going to drop in on them via fake floors. The first fake floor, which is located about right here. So if you want these little things, they tease you with them, but if you want them, you got to know where to you got to know where to stand. So we're going to drop in on Cutman right now. And for those of you who maybe are disappointed that I didn't start with Cutman, this is a good demonstration of his uh, of the fact that he can be very easily destroyed with the Mega Buster. Yeah. See, he ain't nothing. I was able to do that in a perfect run, even. That's not too bad. Maybe we'll get lucky with Elect Man. Maybe we won't. We'll see. But we're going to drop in on another repeating screen here. And uh, you ought to have the arc of these guys memorized by now. They should be easy enough to avoid. Let's get out of here so we can actually avoid these bullets right here. And this time, the fake floor is going to be right next to them. Ha <laughs> ha! Fool me once. Shame on you, game. Fool me twice, shame on me. But fool me zero times, ultra shame on you. Because you dumb. Let's jump in and use that rolling cutter and we're going to get rid of Elect Man once again. I guess pulverizing you enough wasn't... I guess pulverizing your atoms and scattering to the four winds enough the first time wasn't good enough. Guess you're going to have to do it again to get the message. There we go. Alright. Perfect run so far, but I'm afraid it's probably going to end right about here. Because I'm not too good at avoiding these things. You can take shelter on the lower ledges, uh, but assuming assuming I don't slide off or forget to jump. Yeah, see, I usually end up getting hit, and that's when I decide to barrel through. But only taking two hits, that's not too terribly bad. I'll go ahead and I'll take it. And I'm going to whip out my Thunder Beam now. That's going to be great for these cramped quarter... Well, not for this guy right here. I can just shoot him when he's down on the ground. And why would I not take that free life over here? I think I can spare a little bit of Magnet Beam to get that. Yes, sir. Now I'm going to get out my Thunder Beam because it's going to be great for these cramped quarters. All i got to do is position myself right. And I should be able to take out several at a time on both screens. Okay, let's see here. Ah, yes, all three at once. Excellent. And you can see, if you're a smarty pants who tries to take a shortcut over the sky over there, you will definitely end up eating Spike at some point, so... Ah, crap, I didn't get all of it. And it just went... It sailed right over his head! Wow! Not a very forgiving hitbox. Ha 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 ha! Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. And, uh, I can't think of too many more instances where I'm gonna need the... Thunder Beam, so... Actually, I am going to go ahead and fill it up. There we go. That's a nice little refill. And, uh, should I happen to... No, I'm not going to be able to come back to this screen. Darn. I was going to say, I could regenerate and fill a lot of things, but that's simply not going to work, probably. Oh, sure, yeah. Walk right into that guy and shoot a Panic Thunder Beam as a result. That's always the smartest maneuver. And I can probably just take you out right there. Yes. And we're already at the boss. All right. And uh, somewhere in the depths of his castle, Dr. Wily has hidden a discotheque, apparently. Hey, because even Dr. Wily likes to get down and dirty with the dancing sometimes. But now we're at the actual main boss of this level, the one who matters. The one who's not just some stupid robot master. It's a clone of me, Mega Man, and now it's time to party and get down funky. This is not too hard, actually, as long as you can avoid Mega Buster shots. He usually, uh, he usually minds his own business and stays in his own territory, but if you can jump over the Mega Buster shots, those are the things that hurt. There's not really one weapon that's super effective in this scenario. You, you are getting too close for comfort, Mr. Man. Oh, hey, hello. And, uh, I could end up biting it here. It's good to come in and face this guy with a full tank of energy. Yeah, I would like it if you continue to back off, actually. Oh, God, there's no way I'm winning this. That was dirty. You shot me in the butt. That was not cool at all, sir. Fortunately, we started the room right before him. Oh, that, that was just almost a dirty trick, you game, you. But, yes, I would much rather face him with a full tank of energy. Okay, I don't want to face to the left. I actually want to see myself being cloned here. 
tape his eyelids open, like, clamp him down with the clamps. Bada bing, bada clamp! Okay. Okay, now we are on equal footing, and it's time to get it on. I think we were pretty much on equal footing earlier, actually. Again, you're jumping too close, you're getting in my face, you- Oh, oh, great, now I got confused, and I was the one on the left. This is terrible. This is pretty damn terrible, actually. Okay, yes. Wow, all up in my business. You jerkus morcus. I don't like this at all. Ah, ha, ha, I knew to jump that time. Sometimes if you get lucky, he'll jump back on his own and give you a lot of leeway. That gives you the opportunity to, now he's getting too close for comfort again. Now we need to go ahead and uh, get on the other side from him, unless he follows us like a... Yes, I like it when you walk to the left. Sometimes he will do that. If you get on good enough of a roll, he will kind of give you a little bit of strange leeway, weirdly enough. And he'll keep jumping and firing in the air, and all you gotta do is stand on the ground and stay in a corner. But you do have to kind of get lucky in that particular fashion. So yes, I think we're pretty much done here. Yeah, you have to get lucky for it to not be that bad. That background looks like the old Scrabble game show from the 80s. You know the one with Chuck Lorre? And I think I've been staring at the computer too long because it looks kind of tilted like an optical illusion. I think I need to go shower.